Yep, 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 yep. Unique New York. Unique you, New York. Ron Burgundy. You are a uh, magnificent bastard. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we went to the Rose Tower, and we, uh, we, we, we've uncovered a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, Miss Oleana, yeah, she got a little crazy right there. She got really crazy, I'll tell you that right now. And, well, now it is time for us to go battle uh, Lee for our final, well, our final match in the Pokemon League. And, well, let's go right ahead and just switch it out. Let's go ahead and... Get a team uh, sorted out right here. Let's go with Michelangelo because I, I kind of feel like, uh, you know, Lee's going to do something pretty crazy right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Yes, please send me to Wyndham Stadium. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to the Pokemon League, Vermilion City, and all that stuff. Okay, alrighty. So, yeah. Miss Oleana got a little crazy about some little situation that's going on with the chairman and Leon, and well, yeah, Hop, I see you. I'm trying to talk. Oh my god, why is Hop with us? I don't know. This is it. Here, Winning Stadium, the greatest stadium of, in all Galar. You're going to show everyone you're the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. Hmm, okay. So, go get yourself checked in. Oh my god, like seriously, this guy is living by curiously through me and all that crap. So yeah, uh, Miss Oleana got a little crazy, sent out a, some of her, her, her crew and all that crud, and well, you know, things got a little crazy from there, but we managed to, to figure out what was what's, what was going on and all that crud. Okay, oh yeah, we're, we still need to take on Ryan, and whoever makes it through the final bracket will get the right to chase, uh, take on the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room? Yes, we are. Okay, wow, I should have read that a little... <laughs> A little ahead of time. Okay, and well, oh wow, we are in the bracket with all the gym leaders. Well, hello there. I see one of the gym leaders that I like. Uh, no, not you. Uh, hello there, Nessa. Long time no see. There'll be uh, this will be a different sort of battle you face in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this this is a serious battle. I just want to keep on staring at you because. Mm, Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so, yeah, we are in, uh, oh, mm, 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 mm. my favorite strong lady in the world, B. It's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, and but I still can't wait for the match to begin. So, like she said, yes, this is a different kind of uh, Pokemon League challenge. This time around, we're going to be facing off against two gym leaders, and, uh, yeah, they're going to be a little stronger than ever, so I think. I probably need to switch out Pokemon right here, so let's go with Dreamzilla. Let's go with that, okay? Okay, so let's go right ahead and, uh... Will you be heading to the pitch? Yes, we will be heading to the pitch. Let's go. Battle number three, I think. Number three. Alrighty, I wonder if, like, a theme song comes out when I come out right here. I think I would come out to Hulk Hogan song. I'm a real mare. Oh, shit, bastards. Okay, never mind. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Geller. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up in some business, so I have no uh, no one minds uh, in order to lead your Pokemon trainers and Geller. This time, good for you. Da, 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 da. The only greatest challenger remains. Yes. And on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say that the battles of the final matches begin. Okay, I paraphrased everything because you know how you know how I am, guys. Wait, you. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> Who's that? Macho Man Randy said. And oh, no, I'm just playing, guys. A moment if I say, or if I may, does anyone here remember me? I am Bede, the challenger who is forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bede! He's the challenger endorsed by the chairman Rose himself! I have a score to settle with challenger Dravid here. I'm aware that, it, that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. What an ex unexpected turn of events. Former challenger Bede has come here for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with the challenger Bede. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home well, in front of the telly, we ask you, please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had something to say. Do something! Ever since you showed up, everything I've, I've done has gone wrong. 
It was Oleana who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but the chairman himself disowned me. And then that's, uh, that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into the boot camp on a fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day? And here, I'm pouring my heart out to you. When I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bead's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial of the challenger of Draven? I don't know, it's just another trial. My will hasn't been broken yet. Okay, well. Time to die. Maximum effort, let's do this. So here it is, guys. Another battle against Gym, gym Leader Bead. So it turns out that Bead is a gym leader now? Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. I'm proud of you. Anywho, here's Dribzilla. And I am a totally mismatched right here. We face too much to quit now. We've got no, no choice but to win. Okay, so here's the Intimidate. Clear body prevents that. And, well, we are at a clear disadvantage because, uh, yeah, none of these moves work. So let's go right ahead and uh, go straight back to Bex because, well, you know, it's been it's been the Bex show for like the last four or five episodes. So here we go. What's up, Bex? How's it going? And here comes the play rough attack that could have beaten my uh, my Pokemon right there, but new. No. And just like always, Pyro Ball for the win. So it is flippity flappity and eat this. There we go, Mawile defeated. Okay, look at that. Okay, alrighty, and well, she's gonna come. Uh, he's gonna come out with a Gardevoir. I, you know, again, when I first played this game a while back, I, just, uh, you know, I literally thought this guy was a chick, and yeah, that was a uh, kind of awkward right there. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens right here. Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Gardevoir pretty cool name to say a very reliable Pokemon too bad I have to poison jab it because well you know poison jab for the win look at this poison jab eat it Gardawa go back to go back to Kalos and well there we go another victory for us and well here comes a Rapidash I think we're gonna stick with the with the same Pokemon but it is a psychic that Pokemon nah, let's just Let's just continue on right here. Look at this. Rapidash is looking like a pretty cool My Pony. My Little Pony. And, well, My Little Pony. Oh, crap, Basket. It's going to go for a Psycho Cut. That is super effective. But here comes the Poison Jab. And that takes care of Rapidash. Can you believe it, guys? I initially wanted to use Rapidash. Galarian Rapidash. And, well, look at that. More experience points for all of us. And this person's coming out with a Hatcherini. Let's go, Dreepsilla. Okay, Dreepsilla. Time to do the thing right here. You know, that thing that we did against Hop. You know, that thing. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> What's that calm expression? You think uh, you're going for the win? And here comes a Hatcherini. And I think this is the Pokemon that it wants to Gigantamax right here. So... You know what? Let's go with Phantom Forge. Let's not Dynamax. Let's just make this Pokemon uh, trainer. Let's just make this Pokemon trainer work for it. Okay, so bring it. Okay, alrighty. Coming out. It's growing. It's growing. And it's grown. Look at that. And it came out with its perfect form right there. Holy bejeebus. It's yelling. It is scary. It wants to eat me. And, well, let's go straight for a Phantom Force. So we have disappeared. Try and hit us now, and this guy is like, I learned a move from that old grand. Why don't I make it my own? Okay. So here comes a G Max, nothing. And well, let's go straight for Phantom Force. That right there nearly defeats Ed Reedy. So here comes a G Max Smite. And wow. Okay, so Dreepzilla just got. Wow. Okay. Ha! <laughs> okay, so. Let's go. No, not for kiss. Not for kiss. Uh, you know what? Let's go for Blitzkrieg, okay? I got a little something going on right here. I kind of need to revive this Pokemon because I kind of want to evolve it. I really do. So, 
let uh, let Bead have, it, have his glory for just a little bit. So there we go, and there's a revive, and go ahead, Max Mindstorm, do your worst. And yes, he has just wasted. He has just wasted his G Max right there. Okay, that's all right. You know, Blitzkrieg's a big boy. He'll uh, he'll survive. And well, let's go straight back to Toga Pre. Toga Pre is gonna be doing something right here. How's it going? I got a fair type of my own. And well, Beat, I'm so sorry, man, but <laughs> I got a little Dynamax myself. So let's go right ahead and use Max Rock Ball. All right, Ugh. maximum effort. Time to screw you over. There we go. Who said I wasn't a good trainer? Seriously. <laughs> and look at this. Big bad Toga Pri. Toga Pri is, uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's looking like a mean, mean, big old Toga Pri. And here comes a max rock fall. Smash it! That's how you do a Gigantamax. Or Dynamax. Or whatever you like to call it. And yes, the sandstorm has kicked up, and there it goes. And well, look at that, more experience points for all of us, and uh, yeah. That's right, how's it feel to fail? So we have defeated Gym Leader Bead. Kinda looks like a girl still. I could win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Okay. Alright, whatever you say, homeboy. <sighs> Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Gym Leader Draven. I'm sorry. Challenger Draven. And his trusted team. Hey, Bead! That was some match! Oh, wow. Everybody's cheering for him. Don't retire! Just restart your career. But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything could have been fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from the old lady! You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue training as the fair type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Paul in no time. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on uh, these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Draven, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up and for the unexpected match. Okay! So we're healed up. <clears throat> I could go for another round. Rather surprising for Challenger B to just barge in like that. In, a, in any case, once you're ready to please head into the pitch for the finals are about to begin. Okay, so that right there was a, a bit of an unexpected turn right there. And yeah, well, I hope in the next episode it's going to be nice and fun or anything like that. So we're going to stop the episode right here, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going against the actual gym leaders that are in the playoffs. And we're going to... We're gonna, off the floor with every single one of them okay all righty stay tuned guys thank you guys for being patient thank you guys for watching if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel heart button's right there make a donation if you want so uh link is in the description there below and uh yeah i'll be back for another episode of pokemon sword see you guys